So here are your two hoses for the heater core. One runs right here, one runs right here. So right now I have both hoses disconnected from the heater core at the firewall. With this connection, and on this one it just had the hose clamp, which I didn't think was factory. Okay, so I got the clip on, and you can see how this works. It slides up and down, and you just have to get your screwdriver in the bottom here to pry that out. And you can take it off, and then just pull on the connection, and that'll come off. But it still doesn't help us with this part, because we're still going to have to cut this hose. So, that's what we're going to have to do. So just to recap what we did here. The black hose we had too small. Turns out these hoses different sizes. The one on the right was slightly smaller than the one on the left. But we have a piece of pipe just like this one, just regular household plumbing pipe. Jammed in there, hose clamped up. I'd like to fix that kink a little bit, but we've got another problem. We broke this T line that goes to our overflow and down to the intake so we have to find a new t-line for this and then put it back together so we're gonna go ahead and put our strut tower brace back in and then we'll be done with this until we pull the heater core out and repair it but yep just two hose clamps you can see how once you put this brace back on it's really tough to get down there and even fix that t that we broke off here's the broken one and then i'm left with this fitting here that we pulled off of the heater core and we're going to go ahead and save that because you can always cut this little band off here and reuse this fitting if we have to when we get the new heater core. So save that. So that's going to be everything for the heater core bypass on a 2003 Jetta GLI. The 2.8 V6 24 valve.